Hello guys and welcome to another Hacker Rank video. Today we're going to be solving a library find. Your local library needs your help. Given the expected and actual return dates for a library book, create a program that calculates the find, if any. The fee structure is as follow. If the book is returned on or before the expected return date, no fine will be charged. If the book is returned after the expected, return day and still within the same calendar month and year as the expected return date, fine equals 15 hackles times the number of days late. If the book is returned after the expected return month and still within the same calendar year as the expected return date, the fine is going to equal to 500 hackles times the number of months late. If the book is returned after the calendar year in which it was expected, there is a fixed fine of 10,000 hackles. Charges are based only on the least precise measure of lateness. For example, whether a book is due January 1st, 2017 or December 31st, 2017, if it is returned January 1st, 2018, that is a year late and the fine would be 10,000 hackles. All right, so here we have D1, M1, Y1, which is going to be our return date, month and year. And then we have D2, M2 and Y2, which is the due date. And it's gonna be the day, month and year. All right, so looking at the problem, the first thing we have to do is that the first three um, requirements are based on the year Y1 being less than or equal to Y2, all right? And then this is going to be the default if Y1 is actually greater than Y2, meaning that it's going to be the next calendar year. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this. It's a fairly straightforward problem. All right, so I'm gonna hit tab. The first thing I wanna do is check to see if Y1 is less than or equal to Y2. All right, and then most of our logic is gonna go in here. And if it's not, then we're just gonna go ahead and return 10,000 hackles uh, because that's going to be uh, if it's greater or if it's in the next calendar year, right? So the first three ones, the first three requirements are only if we're in the same calendar year, right? If we're in the same calendar year, meaning that Y1 has to be less than or equal to Y2. Now, with that said, the first thing we want to do is we can say that if uh, D1 is greater than D2 and M1 is equal equal to M2 and Y1 is less than Y2 then we're gonna go ahead and return zero. So we're gonna return zero. Okay, so what's going on here? The thing is that if D1 is greater than D2, right? And then the month is still the same and the year is less than um, Y2, it means that we return the book before it was actually due. So we need to return a zero. The next thing to do is to check to see if D1 is greater than D2 and we're still in the same month. So if the days have a difference and we're still in the same month, that means we're late by a certain amount of days. So we need to take D1 minus D2 times 15. So we're gonna say that if uh, D1 is greater than D2, and we're still in the same amount, meaning that M1 
is equal equal to m2 then what we want to do is return d1 right which is the bigger number minus d2 times 15 hackles all right next what we need to do is check for the months all right so we're going to say that if m1 is greater than m2 and we're in the same year because we have to be in the same year if we're going to disregard the days we have to be in the same year so we're going to say that if y and y1 is equal equal to y2 then what we want to do is return and we're going to do m1 which is the bigger number minus m2 right times 500 all right and then if the if the the if the first case fails right if it's not it doesn't return zero on an early date then we still have to go ahead and return zero here all right meaning that we're early okay so the thing that we have to do is check this is because we may have a higher a higher uh day right however the month the month may be the same and in this case the calculation may be off if we don't check for this case however if this case uh, doesn't run we still need a default case of zero meaning that our book is still early all right and if it's in the next calendar year then we just need to go ahead and return uh, 10,000 here all right so I hope you guys get this what we're doing is if we had for example uh, if our first date was let's say um, 9 right 7 2014 and our uh, second year was 2 7 and 2015 right um, the month is the same however this is less than the year right so this will fall within our first um, argument here within our first if statement here because the day is going to be greater however the months are the same and the year is greater right so we know that this book was actually returned early so this this takes care of that case right the next thing to do is to check to see if the day is actually greater and the months are the same so if, let's say for example that we're looking at the year right the year falls within um if so if y1 is less than or equal to y2 which it does in this case right so what we're going to do is check to see for example let's say if the years was the same right what we're going to do is check to see if this is greater than this right if the day is greater and the months are the same that means that we are late by this amount of days so what we're going to do is take 9 minus 2 right multiply that by 15 and that's going to give us the uh, late fee for the number of days and then for the months we can ignore the days because we're charging based on months now and what we're going to do is just check to see if the month month is greater than the due month and we have to check for the year because it has to be within the same calendar year and if that's the case then we're going to take the bigger month minus the smaller month times 500. i hope this makes sense if you have any questions regarding this problem please let me know so i can do some further explanation uh, what we're going to do next is just run the code and we can submit for every other case Alright guys, this will be it for this problem and as always, uh, if you are a member of the channel, thank you and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.